amigas y mis amigos. Um, that's my seven, eight years? Eight years of Spanish. What's up, fam? I, you know, I knew I was going to film today. And I took a shower. And then I was like, I don't feel like wearing makeup. Forgetting that. Oh, it's hot in here. Forgetting that I was going to film. But like I knew I was going to. So we're going to do this with no makeup on. Please excuse the appearance. Um, I newly... I newly showered. We washed our hair. It was a hair washing day. Anyways, happy Cinco de Mayo. Um, I'm technically doing this on May the 4th be with you. Um, hope the 4th, 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 4th was with you yesterday. We went to Bajas. So Bajas, so here's the thing. I was talking with my friend Lupe, Rodi Foodie, who also posted a Bajas video today when you're watching this. Um, and we were, we were chit chatting because if I did a Taco Bell one, um, for Cinco de Mayo, it probably would do really well, but we love to support locals. So here we are at Bajas. There's like 700 locations in Rhode Island. <laughs> I got a burrito bowl. I believe he got loaded, loaded street tacos and I got a loaded bowl with rice, veggies, chicken, shrimp. They have like buffalo chicken, so good. Um, I got pico, I got lettuce, I got cilantro. It's still hot in here, boy. Okay, I got cilantro, I got um, jalapenos. He put like one on there originally and I was like, uh, one more. And then I got some lime. We're gonna take a first, our first bite. I gotta get like a nice bite though. Mm a long pepper okay hold on I'm struggling okay mm. I haven't had Baja's in a minute I love Baja's they recently opened one kind of near me which is the one that I just went to I feel like most of the locations are like Providence North Providence just like that surrounding East Pro they're all in like Providence essentially right but it's been a long-standing tradition Baja's and myself Baja's is the place where you're starving you just went out in Providence everything's closed and you're like I'm so hungry what do I want and you're like there's nothing open and then you're like oh, Baja's is open because Baja's, I'm not kidding, back when I used to go out, I think they were like technically only open to like one or two, but they were just always there, like always there. So the OG location, because they opened up two on their street, I'm parked in a Shaw's parking lot, people can see me, I'm parked in between like a bunch of cars, normally I just go by myself, but I couldn't do it this time. Anyways, yeah, so the OG location, I would go there maybe like 2 30 3 o'clock in the morning and they would still be working and i'm like guys go home and sleep but also thank you thank you for making my soul happy back in the day though when i couldn't have endless amounts of bread and carbs i used to get burritos because those were phenomenal from here but now i just stick with the bowl which is fine we make do they give us gluten problematic people options and don't come at me i just dropped a piece of chicken i wish i was in lupe's car um just kidding don't come at me saying that i can have corn though because i also can't have corn <laughs> that's a problem but anyways happy cinco de mayo i hope you guys are enjoying some fabulous hispanic food this is gonna be such a problem I just put my my window up. I hope you guys are enjoying some lovely Hispanic food. I know that I'll be having a margarita. Margaritas are my favorite. Everyone loves spicy margaritas. I can't do it. That tastes like garbage to me. I think I also like, I mean, granted I can't have super spicy foods anymore, but I don't think that I would be able to drink a whole thing that of like, like essentially like hot sauce. It's okay. 
maybe a couple sips but not like multiple spicy margaritas especially there's so there's this place in miami they made them so spicy that i think it just like ruined it for me and that's why i no longer have the love for spicy margaritas that everyone else in the world does so i will stick with my regular margaritas if we're doing flavors watermelon maybe the watermelon margarita sounds good i really like a traditional margarita give me 1800 oh oh okay so most recently that was so dramatic most recently the roadie foodie fam went to um the grand opening of a restaurant in rhode island we did tequila shots that was i oh so my parents own a liquor store i always push casamigos because i know it's really good however i've never tried it so i am fake in the sense that i've never tried it but i know other people really love it i know that it's like smoother people say so when people ask me for my opinion on a good tequila i'm like oh casamigos like i know that casamigos is good but i never say like i never said like oh i love it i just say oh i know like casamigos is good so i'm not a liar let's just set that straight but how spicy is this well it's a it's a jalapeno camilla I thought it was like Alright I thought it was like the jalapenos That are like pickled where they're not like too too spicy It's okay I'll be fine You eat it with other foods and you can't taste it But when you eat it by itself that's when you feel it So Oh gosh I'm start Loopy's starting to rub off on me I get so sidetracked now But anyways What was I talking about? the roadie foodie fam and i were at the grand opening for the restaurant and um we all decided to do tequila shots and miss Lindsay Aya de luca of channel 10 news decided to do casamigos and i was like oh this is my opportunity to try it. however excuse me she decided to do mezcal mezcal is awful to me that smoky taste i just want it out of my mouth so fast i don't like it i think it's the worst I'd rather go for a Blanco or even a Reposado, but that smoky Mezcal, no. Anyways, we tried it. That thing went down like water. I hate Mezcal, and that went down like water. I was like, good job, Camilla, for the fact that I've been re recommending this thing for like a year, and I've never tried it myself. It is so good. So if you're ever looking for a, a smooth tequila to do tequila shots on, get yourself Casamigos also up for debate is it salt lime tequila shot salt tequila shot lime i know a lot of people tend to do the salt tequila shot and lime but i think if i remember correctly you're actually supposed to do the lime before you do the tequila shot because it counteracts the taste of the tequila i guess i don't know if there's any validity behind that but so I've heard. I'd like to know what you guys do. So write down in the comments what your go-to order for ordering tequila shots is. Oh, I'm so awkward. I made eye contact with this girl that was just passing by just now. I'm so strained. I'm sorry. Sorry. I can't do this, man. Mmm. -hmm. I just cleaned my car. I'm gonna eat half this bowl right now in the car. The other half is going to Mama. I'm actually going to visit Mama right now. She's at the liquor store, all by her lonesome. So I'm gonna help her. Um, I that was disgusting. <laughs> Another debate that I have for you guys: tacos, burritos, or bowls? Which one is the winner? of those three for me if i had the choice and i could have things that i actually can't have tacos all the way man i don't know what it is <coughs> <coughs> if i die 
<laughs> this won't be able to go up on YouTube. Gotta live. I'm just a huge taco fan because I like handheld. It fits perfectly. I got little hands. You just you scoop it, you eat it, and it's done. And then you go to your next one and you eat it, and it's done. I could eat like 17. I would put I would put money that I would be able to finish like 17 tacos. 17 street tacos. But the problem is is I can't have it. Oh my gosh. That really just like got me in the soul. I think that's my cue to sign off. Anyways. I love you guys so much. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Love you guys. Peace out. Oh yeah, like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to do that too. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>